Hey, what's up, everybody? I have to make this video. Uh, I made this video several years back and got quite a few comments on it. I don't know if the video is still on the channel. I'm not going to go look. But when I was 14 years old in 1973, I sat in a basement on a day where we skipped school on one of my closest friends' 18th birthday who was a guitar player and on my red supro es335 copy he taught me this trick you got to know three things how to play a major bar chord with all six strings how to play it from the fifth string and how to play a d chord so, instead of playing an E chord like this, with these three fingers, we're going to play it with these three, and we're going to put our up U finger right there, and these two fingers right, right here, and we're going to move it up, move it up, that's your major bar chord using all six strings starting on E, G, e, F, F sharp, B, G sharp, A, then A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, D, E, D, D, D sharp, or E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, and you need to know how to play an A minor, okay? First string on the C note, the first fret of the second string, this finger here on the second fret of the third, fourth string, and your this finger here on the A note, the second fret of the third string, because this also can go, okay? Now, you need to know that. We're going to start right here on A. We're going to play, put our first finger on the A note of the sixth string. That's the fifth fret. And we're going to play that bar chord. That's an A major. If you take this finger off, and bar all these, put these two fingers down and keep that finger up there like that, That's an A minor. If you take all the fingers off except the first finger and the third finger right here, that's an A minor seventh. So you got major, minor, minor seven. And that's barring all these strings right here. Now, we're going to play a D major chord, starting on the 5th fret of the 5th string, the A string, a D note. And we're going to bar these. You don't need to play that one down there, just to right there, up to the 2nd string, so right here. That's a D major. Now. If you take, now you're going to take your A minor shape and you're going to play it starting with your second finger. You're going to put this finger on the third fret of the fourth string and your little finger on the second fret of the third string and play the A minor. Now you're going to bar it. You're going to move up one, put your finger down, and get that B-flat note and this note. So you're going to bar all the way across. Move it up. Okay, so now we got D. Play that A minor shape. D minor. Take your pinky off. You've got a D minor 7. We don't need to know why. 
right now. We're not concerned with why, we're just concerned that it is. So you've got D major, D minor, take your pinky off, D minor seven. And here, now this one's a little tricky. If you take, I have to go back to something in a second. Or all these strings, if you if you're playing the full shape, take your little finger and put it on the second string, leave that finger off, bar everything else. That's a, a dominant seven. So you've got D major, D minor, D minor seven, D dominant seven. Same thing goes with the A chord. If you take the little finger off only, you've got a dominant seven. And some of you might play it like this. You're putting that pinky down there one fret up. But you don't need it. You can just do this. So you've got major. Seven, dominant seven. Now I'm going to show you one more thing. Going to the D chord, you've got D, D minor. By playing the A minor shape, following it up, take the little finger off, D minor seven. Now we're going to take our second finger and move it our second finger right here to the sixth fret of the third string and put our little finger down on the second string under this finger. So these are on the seventh fret. This one's on the sixth. This one's on the fifth. Major seven. So you got major, minor, minor seven, major seven lift that finger off of the major seven you're back to your dominant seven hard to get that finger out of the way for you to see he taught me that in an afternoon on his 18th birthday when I was 14 years old Smoking a big bowl of hash that his sister gave him for his birthday. I guess I can say that. All right. So once again, from the A note, major, minor, minor seven, dominant seven. Now there's a way to play a major seven here too by putting... Barring all the strings on the fifth fret, put your up your finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string, the next finger, your third finger on the sixth fret of the third string, which is the G, and then bringing your little finger up to the seventh fret. So you've got this shape. And that's like an upside down this. The major, then major seven. If you look at my fingers and you look close, you can get it. So one more time. Major, minor, minor seven. Dominant seven, major seven. From the A string, the D note, major, minor, minor seven, dominant seven, major seven. He taught me that in an afternoon, and it totally changed the way I played guitar. And the thing was, everything he showed me that day stuck because we went through... My fingers were capable at the time. I could play, I was playing. That was another 
another thing Keith had taught me. And, and you know, I was, I was playing. I knew how to play those bar chords. I had the bar chords down. And that was the secret to get those bar chords down. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. A D chord. Is nothing but a C chord moved up two frets. But what you have to do is play, instead of playing the C chord with your first finger, start it with your second finger, then finish out the chord with your third and fourth. Move up to the D. And bar on the second fret, the third and first string. That's C. Move it up. D. Move it up. E. F. G. A. B. One fret up to C. Okay? So the last thing I'm going to tell you is the half step whole step rule. There's a half step between E and F and a half step between B and C. So if you're playing your E chord, that's E, F, whole step G, whole step A, whole step B, half step C, whole step D, whole step E. If you're playing here, A, whole step B. Half step C, whole step D, whole step E, half step F, whole step G, whole step A. We don't need to know what all those notes are. All we need to know is the shape for now to get you going. So if you hear something that's using this chord... know how to find them. That's that simple. It's that simple, man. So I hope I hope that helps somebody. Uh when I was 14 years old, it certainly helped me. It changed the way I played the guitar. So all right. Hey, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Hit up my Patreon, please. I need patrons over there. I'll keep putting more content over there. And uh, have a good week, everybody.